It is a problem. <laughs> First, Pulamangai followed the Nau that I was. I went there in the middle of May. Tania Poi, Parakamola Pocket with a Savi on Gita, I went inside the Pulamangai temple. Pulamangai, Ulma, but you would make particularly the weapon. Ulla boy to go book or phone one. Pulamangai went there again, American Sulaga. So he gave me a one hour telephone overview, or he gave me a guided tour of Pulamangai while I was in Pulamangai. May Master Tania, we last. <laughs> so, mini mini just now. After that, I was there for three, three and a half minutes. Then after that, I called her. Well, let the girl go. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Okay, thank you. Sir, sir, you pull up again. Put it down. Again, sir, you pull up again. Put it down. Again, sir, you pull up again. Put it down. Again, sir, you pull up again. Put it down. Again, sir, you pull up again. Put it down. So I was not able to go inside. So I was Then finally, this year in May, Nanu Shiva, when we went to Kumbakonam, we went to Nageshwaram Kovil. So we spent only one hour there, evening or five o'clock, six, six fifteen o'clock, we went to So we were limited to the path. So not much of having seen Nageshwaram. This picture is actually it is one of the vintage photos from. The uh, British uh, Library, our uh, collections lender. This is uh, this is a picture. Okay, um, <clears throat> my sources for this presentation, uh, obviously, like most of you, uh, early Chola art, Isar Balasubramanya. Then uh, a few portions from Douglas Barrett, early Chola architecture and sculptures, and uh, South Indian inscriptions and the cellar references. But actually, in, at least Nas third nadala. Nageshwaran Temple Pati, Pustakatla Adigama Eden material in the Mari Yenakatan, the Yen Kandu Pata. I was searching for a long time for a <laughs> So I was searching for a source for a long time. So Adela first Yen Kandu Pata in the Renda of the paper uh, article, which is Identification of Portrait Sculptures on the Pada of Nageshwaran Temple by R.K. Rajaratan, who is incidentally one of the speakers in our Pechakacheri next week. So even when he has written an alternative theory about some of the coastal sculptures that are there, our when the yaro de paper ko yaro de journal ke alternate theory idhar karna he has written uh, he is given reference to TV Mahalingam. So from here I went in such a TV Mahalingam's journal which came in the 1961 Journal of Indian History. So he has written around 100 100 pages. So at least now yeh kande ko patta dilo orin lengthiest description of Nageshwaran Temple is there. So now. I have a bounded uh, copy of both Mahalingams and Rajarajans after uh, and, and yes, uh, S.R. Balasubramanian and Douglas Barrett have written few few pages. Mumbai, details and all. And photos thanks to Gopu, Vishwanathan and BTS. So the uh, structure of my presentation, I will, uh, because the temple is in Kumbhakonam, we will start with an introduction to Kumbhakonam, uh, introduction to Mageshwar and Koyal. Uh, we will uh, talk about a uh, little bit of architectural elements, uh, some uh, custom sculptures. Uh, Professor Shivaram Krishnan has covered most of the miniatures, so now we will do a quick way to do a sequence. Uh, and we will talk a little bit about inscriptions. There are a lot of inscriptions in this temple. 
So uh, obviously, this is an early Chola temple. If you take the uh, uh, Vijayalaya Chola till the accession of uh, Rajaraja I as the early Chola period, then from Rajaraja I till Kulotunga as the mid middle Chola period, and then Kulotunga till the Rajendra II and Rajaraja III as the later Chola period, then this comes under the early Chola period. Uh, Early Chola, this is the early part of early Chola, uh, which is basically if you take the Vijayalaya, Aditya, and Parantaka, the early part of early Chola. So, the Sembian Mahadevi, and after the death of Parantaka, the rest of the early Chola. So, this is the early part of the early Chola. This is probably the only temple that we are going to see inside the town of Kumbakonam, in the whole site of Mata. We will be around the Kumbakonam, but town of Kumbakonam, but town of temple in the site of Mata. I think you have to talk about it. It is dated to Aditya. Not to be confused with Trinakeshwaram. People write Nageshwaram, Nageshwaram. Should not be confused with the other more popular Trinakeshwaram. So we'll start with a little bit of legend. Uh, again, uh, I think most of you should know this. What is uh, uh, the, uh, the legend of Kumbhakonam? Uh, Brahma was entrusted with, uh, uh, with a pot of nectar and he deposited this on Mount Meru. Uh, when the great uh, Pralayam, the, the deluge happened, the pot floated away and it reached this place. So uh, Shiva, who is in the you know in the disguise in the form of a hunter, he shoots an arrow at this pot. The pot breaks into pieces, and the nectar And from this nectar arose Kumbesha. And uh, basically, one part of this is the Mahamangam Tan, the other part of this is the Potrama. The place uh, comes to be known as Kudamukka, which comes in various inscriptions. Samadala, we are going to see that, which is basically the mouth of the pot. So this is the legend. Uh, the earliest uh, known reference in literature to Kumbhakonam uh, comes to the Agana Amuru. This is a totally or a different context. That is, when the Thori comes, the Thali comes to tell him, "You, you have to get a son. 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 Just like how the Chola kings safeguarded their tax money in their treasury at Kudantai, you are going to go to Kudantai and you are going to go to Kudantai. You are going to go to Kudantai and you are going to go to Kudantai. That's why you are going to go to Kudantai. So this is probably the earliest known reference to Kudantai. Uh, the Kalavari uh, Narpadu, which is one of the Padanan Kirikanak uh, accounts, uh, talks about a Chera king Kanekal Yumbore, who was kept as a captive by the Chola king Kot Chengaram at a place called Kudavail Kota. Kudavail Kota Thil Sirei Vethe Daha, there is a reference to it. There are two theories on this. Kudavail is the Kumbha Vanama, it could be the modern day Kudavasan, Adhuvam Irkala, Abhinger, there are a lot of scholars, which is, near, which is close by. So, so there, you know, scholars differ, differ on their differ in their view on this. But there are many people who think that this Kudavail could be Kumbhakon. Uh, the Yaparangala Viruti, which comes in the 10th slash 11th century, it talks about two kings. Porayan Seriyan, Pundar Valavan. Abdina Rinder Arasargal, Nallisai Kudandai, Abdina or Adatra, Andadahom. And that's why our capital, our capital, our important city is under that. That's why there is a reference. Porayan Sriyan, Pundar Valavan, Kolli Korkai Nallisai Kodandai. After that, this is the passage. What is the poem? The full, full poem. So this. Yaap Parungala, Yaap Parungala, Yaap Parungala, Yaap Parungala, no? Yaap Parungala, correct? So this is another reference that we know. So from Kumbhakonam, we, uh, we will talk a little bit about the Nageshwar interpret. So there are again several wars that have been fought in and around Kumbhakonam. Uh, there is a Nandi, Nandi, Mar, Nandi Varman war. Then there is the Sri Vallava uh, war. So I am not going to talk about it. There is a war at Sri Purampiyam that was fought. I am not going to go into details of all this. I think Gopu has covered some of that in the uh, history and uh, I think this might mean that Syrian had his capital at Kokai and Paravan at Kokai. Rather than both of them had it at Kokai. Okay. Why in Syrian? Kokai is like Kudurita. 
ஒருத்தனுடைய <laughs> and he says go to kumbakonam and worship uh, the lord who is in kuvivanam and take bath in the, in the temple tank which adi sesha obeys and so shiva and parvati appear in front of adi sesha and they bless him and because adi sesha and because this temple was worshiped by nagaraja the uh, the temple's deity is believed to have been called nageshwar okay. another uh, legend is that sanjana who is the daughter of uh, vishwakarma <coughs> and uh, the wife of surya was unable to bear the brightness that was coming out of surya so she decides to leave him and go to her father's house vishwakarma or evite kota surya follows uh, sanjana to vishwakarma's uh, house but uh, in the process he is deprived of his race by by vishwakarma so surya loses all his resplendency a heavenly voice informs surya that if he has to re- regain back to his original brightness he will have to go to nageshwaram and uh, he has to go to kumbhakonam and worship nageshwara right so so that is the other other story that we have there is also a surya shrine inside this temple uh, some people say that it is you know there is a relation between this, this shrine and this legend that the temple has uh, this slide is again from uh, rajneesh uh, rajneesh uh, presentation where uh, i just want to put this as a reminder uh, upper has sung about uh, nageshwara and kovil he uh, in one of the padigams he calls it as kudandai keelkottam um illa avangalude avanga last week solirupanga kudandai keelkottathin poothanare appdin solli rendu padigathala paadirukanga which is basically the dancing lord of the kudandai keelkottam that is that is how he refers so it comes in two two places um he has got mighty shoulders is sturdy as diamond he is husband of parvati the young daughter of himavan and, um, and so on inno uh, edhiyum காணல் இளங்க கலி மரவனாகி அந்த இந்த பதிகத்திலையும் குடந்தை கீழ்கோட்டத்தின் கூட்டமாக அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பார்த்தோம் ஸோ வி டென் டு திங்க் ஆஃப் திஸ் டெம்பிள் ஆஸ் பிலாங்கிங் டு தி ஆதித்யா சோலா ஒன் பீரியட் பட் அவுட் ஆஃப் தி மெனி இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் தட் ஆர் தேர் இன் திஸ் டெம்பிள் தேர் இஸ் ஒன் ஒன் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் விச் கேன் பி டேட்டட் பேக் டு த பாண்டியா பீரியட் செவன் செவன்டி த்ரீ ஏடி இஸ் தி is the date that south indian inscription is uh, and there is a reference to one maran sadayam which could be varaguna pandya so this inscription says that there was a gift of 138 cows for milk and 100 cows for two lambs by the king to the temple of tirukki tirukki kottath padar in kudamukkur so inga pathinga tirukkudamukkir keel kottath padar irukku பாலும் நெய்யும் ஆட்ட கோம் கோமான் ஜடையர் கோமான் ஜடையர் கோமாரன் ஜடையர் கொடுத்த பசு நூற்று முப்பத்தெட்டு இரண்டு நொந்தா விளக்குக்கு கொடுத்த காசு நூறு அப்படின்னு சொல்லி ஒரு இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பார்த்து ஸோ திஸ் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் இஸ் இன் த டெம்பிள் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் சீன் ஈவன் டுடே பட் திஸ் டஸ் நாட் ஹாவ் அ ரெஃபரன்ஸ் டு த டேட்டி தட் இஸ் தேர் டுடே ஸோ மேபி திஸ் குட் ஆ பீன் a reference to the earlier structure that could have been there perhaps a brick structure that could have been there and maybe the the aditya period temple that we see today has uh, has been built over it or it has been reconstructed over it. so this is the only pandya inscription that we that we see there are total of 42 inscriptions in this temple this is the king who period beton covid the first of so we will uh, see a little bit of the layout of the temple this is the uh, uh, this is the top view so we will we will be entering through this uh, in the middle of the full of bangar busy area uh, it is right in the middle of a bazaar area uh, 
so we will be entering through through this entrance there is a five storied gopuram uh, that is there um, one of the things you will notice is that the uh, original amma romba adu ulla ulla poi adu sutti and oru idukku pona da and original structure paakanum a lot of the other construction the later construction that has happened does not have the same artistic value or the same sense of aesthetics that the, the original shrine whatever left of it has so this is the uh, the place where i'm pointing right now is uh, where the original structure is so at the center there is uh, so this is a uh, the garbhagraham is facing the east um so there you have a square garbhagraham and then that is preceded by this vestibule which is basically the ardha mandapam i'm just putting all the color coding here so that it is it becomes easy to read it then in front of the ardha mandapam you have the maha mandapam which has a narrow idaikai and then on either side you have some steps and then this continues into what is perhaps the facade of the original structure so you have the mukha mandapam that is it so this is most probably the original construction or the original aditya period temple that we that we know of. then you have a much later construction a big nritya sabai that is there uh, a much later construction and a, and a large uh, large portion of it is there so on the uh, east sorry the west of the temple and on the south of the temple there are two raised platforms that you see like the one that you see here um on the west you have separate shrines for saraswati uh, gajalakshmi and nagaraja and uh, on the south you have a shrine for kankalamurthy uh, so these are there in separate shrines obviously much later constructions uh then you have five parivara devatas um so there is one of these is a surya shrine right most this one this is a surya shrine uh the the whole walls the, the enclosures these walls are quite quite tall um and then you also have a ratha mandapam here uh fairly long ratha mandapam that you see as soon as you enter the temple which is there on the right side so that is that is what you see here okay we also uh, come down and cross the ratha mandapam with the sabha 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 mandapam there are two additional there is no layout this is probably older thing much older ipo anadana promote chestha ah nare pulsa nam So that's an older structure, much older structure. There is a old pillar structure. So, and the, you said what you pointed us to the Mukta Sabha was directly opposite to this Ratha Mandapam, which has these huge wheels and all that. Right. Ah, right. 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 ஒரு <laughs> and uh, there is actually no overbid on that there is the adishtana then you have the bitti uh, uh, and the uh, kudya stamba then you have the prastala which is this portion then uh, you also uh, see the griva which is basically equal to the neck the shikara and the stupi which is the finger right so you see all these typical dravida vimana elements uh, here also um so let's do some some basic comparison right so i'm going to take pullamangai which vallabha presented as uh, as an example uh, with uh, and compare a few architectural differences between pullamangai and nagesh so if you see pullam this is pullamangai um you have the uh, uh, upana 
which is the, the base that you see here. Then on top of that, you have the Jagati. Then you have the, where I'm placing the most, that is called the Kumudam, which is where a lot of the inscriptions you see. Then on top of that, you see the Kanta, um, where a lot of the miniature panels, all the miniature panels are there. Then on top of that, you have the Pattigai, a, a curved roof-like structure. If you come this way, you have, you know, there is this uh, lotus, the, the flower petal shaped uh, Abhishtana. Above the Kumdam, you also see the uh, Yali, Yali Vensa, you see the Yali fleece here. And also you see the second layer of the Pattigai here. New miniatures In contrast to that, Nageshwar and Kovil, you have the Jagati, uh, you know, the, the Upapetam is completely lost to the modern concrete structure. You see the Jagati, you see the uh, Kumudam, which is more of an octagonal structure. It's not a curved structure, unlike um, Pullamangai. Then again, the Kanta, you have the uh, lower um, relief sculptures. You see the miniature panels again here. You have you see the patti guy. Then again you see the miniature panels that are here, and then you see a smaller patti guy, which is further more taper. So as you can very clearly see, we are very conspicuous by its absence. The you know uh, the yali verse is missing here. Uh, that is one obvious difference that that you can see between these two uh, uh, temples. So maybe stylistically a little more uh, uh, pronounced. Uh, Pullamangai, and also the miniature panels are much more well, uh, they, they are less destroyed, right? they, are in, they are in better condition as you see right now. Uh, if you see the uh, Koshtam, the Kudyastamba, I, uh, um, I need to refer to some of my other pictures, but uh, so there are, there are niches that are here, uh, you don't see the, uh, um, this type of a niche that is at a different level here, uh, you have the Palagai, and then uh, in in Pullamangai, the uh, the portion between the prasaram and the palagai, you see dancers and musicians holding it, the prasaram. Here, on top of the main niches, you find uh, uh, yalis, and then on the side niches, you see the musicians and dancers holding it. So that is another difference. The other thing that you will also notice is maybe not very visible here, but uh, in Pullamangai, you have rectangular uh, pilasters and also the cylindrical pilasters, whereas in Nageshwar and Kovil, it is more, it is more rectangular. So from there, we will go see the um, Koshtam sculptures. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come to this later. Right. So uh, there are uh, there are around 13, 14 different sculptures that are there on the south, west, and the uh, north walls. Uh, we will, uh, I need to go to the middle of the next presentation. The next presentation and the folder corner. Escape port. No, I spoke. Scroll the folder. And the Apple, but the new tab is here. All the. Yes. Whatever you want. Share stuff or other. I don't print room. Then now choose whatever it is that you want. Then uh, this is where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You want to what do you want to do with this? Next, next lump on our earth and I hit the problem. Next to Pona, Muldi Pona. Okay. Hey, asked exactly what is it that you are. Next to both of them, Muldi Pona. I'm sorry. It was a presentation that could have worked differently.
may be able to show you. Okay, sir. Next, next. <clears throat> Okay. You can move to the next one by just clicking on that. Okay. So this is the uh, 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 this is actually the second one. Uh, this is the sec second sculpture that you see on the along the south walls. So this uh, this is perhaps a saint. Um, this uh, left hand is in uh, is resting on his face. Um, sure. You will be able to see that. And then uh, his right hand is in uh, Suchi Mudra. Uh, fairly oval shaped uh, head. Uh, no, very ornate Makar on, on top of the sculpture. He's got fairly long um, Vastra. And then uh, the, the Vastra is bound with a, with a, with a proper tie at the waist. Um, then from there you go you go clockwise uh, you you see this uh, uh, lady uh, again her right hand is is in Katya Hasta resting on her thighs her left hand is in uh, it's holding a flower uh, Kataka Kataka Hasta uh, Piriya Konda uh, Patra Kundalam on on both ears and then um, you can see aspects of her, of her pastra. Um, uh, then again, as you go further, this is the last sculpture on the on the south. Uh, in between, you see a Dakshina Murti, uh, but this Dakshina Murti is a much much later sculpture. Just like Kullamangai, where it is, uh, you know, the original sculpture is behind. You know, this is totally damaged. There is a very modern Dakshina Murti on top of the, you know, it is at the Prastaram, uh, which which looks quite shabby. Uh, then after that you find this uh, this one again uh, this lady has her hand, left hand resting on her thighs the uh, her right hand is in uh, Varada Hasta um, again you see two layers of necklace ornamentation Patra Kundalam and then uh, you see the hairdo that is there From here we go to the uh, yeah so this is the Dakshina Murti that I spoke about uh, so this is the modern one the original one is here but uh, so this is how the coast uh, one two three four five this is how the uh, this is the view that you will see on the south side then from there you uh, this is the last one again on the south uh, again a again a lady uh, her, uh, her right hand is extending all the way till the bottom. That left hand is holding a holding a lotus bud. From there we go to the west side. This is the view on the west side. You have uh, three sculptures. You have uh, you have this king. I don't have a close-up picture of this uh, this Costa sculpture, but this is that of a, a king. Then there is Ardhanari, and then you have one more male figure here. The Ardhanari, um, the his right portion being the male portion and the left one the female. His right hand is resting on the bull. He is having a, uh, his upper right hand is on, is having a parasu. Um, and, uh, you know, the bull is behind. Yeah, one of the very, very beautiful. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. 
பின்மணிப்பு மூணு லேயர் வருது then uh, this is the uh, um yeah. so the next one the last sculpture on the west side is uh, is this male uh, he is uh, his left leg is straight and his right leg is slightly uh, turned to the side um curly hair uh matter again left hand in the katya valambita and the right hand i don't know what what that is maybe a switch mitra so uh rajarajan offers some alternative theory to uh, what the original scholars have said rajarajan says that the kings that you see are vijayalaya aditya and parantaka uh, whereas malingam this says that it is uh, Uh, king saint appadi solli dhan podraru ivara idhu or theory vechirukkar he says uh, now the first one is vijayalaya next one is aditya appadi he has written a journal it's quite quite interesting uh, so from there we go to the uh, north side of the temple uh, where you have around six sculptures uh, this is the first one then you you have brahma brahma here we'll come to that so this is the first one um, a king uh, adirajan says this is Uh, this must be one of aditya or parantaka It's having a bud on the lotus bud on the right hand his left hand is resting on a thing you see a malayam um, malayam here elongated ears and matted hair none of them have crown yeah none of them seem to have crown and are not even one uh, வளையம்ட் <laughs> <laughs> வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் பிரம்மா Uh, one of the characteristics to note if you i, I don't have the pullamangai brahma photo in front of me but if you remember the one that pallaba showed idu konjam kuda or maybe a little more or military like a alla kaal la romba or stiffa the the pullamangai brahma had a little bit more of was at least looking a little bit more youth and exuberance idu konjam kuda or Smiley. Smiley, yeah smiling uh, the I'm, i'm talking just the, the leg portion maybe looks a little more brahma looks more beautiful beautiful kamandal here yakshamala super man abhay hasta this is on the kati hasta you see the uh, operations on the on both both the arms so very very beautiful brahma arth this is the uh, uh, this is the next one so this is uh, perhaps a saint which you can make out from the lack of ornation ornate on the uh, on the head the uh, left hand is in vismaya the right hand seems to be holding something else i 
then then you have this lady who is holding a flower in her left hand the right hand is in lamba hasta basically the uh, the hand extending all the way down idhili pathinga very very different ornamentation a uh, very different vastra the madipalam pathinga uh, different one one is different from the other here three layers of necklace so an obvious uh, difference you can see here is the uh, you know, there is no ganesha in the south there is there is no ganesha here um, and uh, the uh, dakshina murti that you see here is much much later and much recent no lingot bhava here pullamange has a lingot bhava ingu and durga it is durga photo engitte irukala ovati irundha mari theriyala kishoram da irukku enna adu vandu completely closed shrine ulla photo la edukka mudiyadhu but ellame kishoram da irukku engu namu eduthu nee enna ulla kaati irukka appa kada vandu தெரியாதூர்த்தி மேல ஒரு வீணாதர் தட்சிணாமூர்த்தி விஜயநகர் what i have actually done is in a separate document i have written a table with the inscription number in south indian inscription which period it belongs to and then what is the brief description of that adu thani or word document which i will put it to the documentation it will be part of the source so i have done that i have taken extracts from the book and put that i have taken some 8 or 10 inscriptions for discussion today in the presentation i am not covering all all 40 42 so uh, this i think we have already seen this is tirukuda uh, mukkil uh, திருக்கீழ்கோட்டத்து பட்ட இருக்கு திஸ் இஸ் தி பாண்டியா இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் சோ वी विल स्किप दिस இட் வாஸ் चेंज தி இயர் அது தட் தட் ஒன் இஸ் 773 பர்சன்ஸ் இது இது தப்பு இன் செவரல் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் वी आल्सो गेट अ ரெஃபரன்ஸ் இன் தட் திஸ் பிளேஸ் வேர் தி டெம்பிள் பிலாங் வாஸ் இன் அ இன் அ பிளேஸ் கால் வடகரை பாம்பூர் நாட் சோ நிறைய இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ல பாத்தீங்கனா வடகரை பாம்பூர் நாட்டு தேவதான திருக்குடமுக்கில் இந்த இந்த என்டோமெண்ட் வழங்குறாங்க இந்த கிஃப்ட் கொடுத்தாங்க இந்த விளக்கு கொடுத்தாங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லி நிறைய இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ்ல வடகரை பாம்பூர் நாடு வடகரை பாம்பூர் நாடு அப்படிங்கிற இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ல திரும்ப திரும்ப வந்துட்டு இருக்கு வி ஆல்சோ ஃபைண்ட் ரெஃபரன்சஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபியூ அதர் நாடுஸ் இந்த இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் வி சி அண்ட் இன்னாம்பர் நாடு இன்னாம்பூர் நாடு Uh, which is the present day mail kaveri uh, eengal nadu abrinna oru oru inscription irukku tiru tiru narayur nadu uh, and then we find about malai nadu which is basically the chera chera king uh, innambur nadu innambar na varudhu illa innambur illa innambar illa inge varudhu innambar sorry inge okay so in the idle enna sonna this inscription talks about the sale of a quarter portion veli of land by the moola parishad of tirukuda mukkil to arayan kalanga malai who endowed it to the temple so this is located on the north wall of the central shrine 953 ad gangaraditya period so illa paina andu kandaraditya kandaraditya innambur nadu kaveri tirukkil kottathu பரமசிவனுக்கு பரமசுவாமிக்கு மூல மூல பரிஷத் அதான் மூல பருடையன் 
வருடையும் விற்று கொடுத்த கால் கால் வெளி எனக்கு அந்த then we also come to know about uh, uh, inganad ingalnad this inscription is uh, 959 ad and it talks about the grant of land to the temple by a chief named sitringanudayan 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 from ingalnad so inga pathinga inganat sitring sitring சிற்றுங்கனுடைய கோயில் மலையாக மெர்காவரி நாங்கள் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு we also come to know about uh, a few kootrams a kootram is basically a portion or a pagadi uh, we see about two kootrams one is uh, i have written it as meelai kootram not meelai meelai kootram and also a kilar kootram um this is the inscription that uh, 9, 935 ad inscription which talks about a gift of money for a lamp by arangan indra panchavan a native of karu so you also find inscriptions where it is referred as tirukkil kottam idu nam already paathutom tirukkudamukkil vadagarai paambur naattu tirukkudamukkil tirukkil kottathu paramaswami ki நொந்தா விளக்குக்கு சோ இது இது ஒரு ஒரு கோட்டம் பரமஸ்வாமின் அப்படின்னு ஒரு இதுல வருது மகாதேவர் பெருமான் அடிகள் பரமேஸ்வரர் செல்வ பிரான் திருக்கீழ்கோட்டு பெருமாள் இது மாதிரி பல பெயர்கள் பல இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ்ல ஒரு அஞ்சாறு இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் வருது தெர் ஆர் நம்பர் ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் இன்ஃபேக்ட் நியர்லி பிப்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் த இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் ரிலேட்டட் டு கிஃப்ட்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் வீல் சி ஃபியூ ஆஃப் தம் திஸ் டாக்ஸ் அபவுட் சேல் ஆஃப் அ லேண்ட் டு காடன் அச்சன் ஹூ டெபாசிட் தி அமௌண்ட் இன் அ டெம்பிள் ஃபார் மெயின்டைனிங் அ பர்பச்சுவல் லேப் பாம்பூர் நாட்டு தேவதான திருக்குடம் உக்கில் காடன் அச்சனுக்கு காடன் ஆச்சனுக்கு நொந்தா வைத்த நொந்தா விளக்கு ஒன்றினுக்கு எரிவதாக வைத்த ஸோ இட் இஸ் அ கிராண்ட் தட் வாஸ் கிவன் ஃபார் மெயின்டைனிங் லேம்ப் இந்த டெம்பிள் ஸோ கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு பதினெட்டு இருபது இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் இது மாதிரியே வரும் ஒரு ஒரு விளக்கு மெயின்டைன் பண்ற இது ஈ கேவ் ஷீப் ஃபார் பேர்னிங் தி இது ஸோ யூ then this is the inscription that talks about the gifting of 90 sheep vadagarai paambur naattu tirukkuda mukkil tirukki kottathu paramaswami ki tiru nonda vilakku vaitha idha rajaadithan vaitha vilakku 90 so 90 sheep for a perpetual lamp to the temple by one devan rajaadithan so this this is an inscription that you find then uh, again another uh, gift of 90 sheep 
by another person by name Kadigavan Kallan. Vadagare Pambur Nata Devadana Tirkuda Mukil Tirki Kotata Tirunda Vilaka Vaita Udaya Raha Kadikavan Kallan Nunda Vilaka Vaita Vait Vaita is another Vaita 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 Yada Tonura so Tonura Ada Kutta Avdin Sutura in the description. Uh, again, 90 sheep by one more person this time. Uh, Dev, Devan Nakan. Devan Devan Nakan. 975 AD. Um, this English is not a period. Satan Salanji Maladita Ade. Right. Okay. Anyway. There is uh, something on gold. This inscription is on the uh, gift of 25 Kalanja of gold, which was given by one Poovan Kannan. Uh, it, this is the inscription where the god is referred to as Paramaswami of Tirki Kota. Vadagarai Pambur Nata Devadana Tirkuda Mukil Tirki Kota, Puvan Kannan Vaita Nunda Vilaku Undrik Pun Vaita Pun Irotanje Ingan Tella. Oh, Irotanje. So Irotanje Kalanje Pun Kurtadaha. I recover inscription. Another inscription again talking about. Uh, 80 kalanj of uh, gold by one Brahma Seti for feeding two Brahmanas every day with Uttamagram. Uttamagram is the daily spa, spa, Uttamagram. So, uh, so, so, this is the special food that is being offered in the temple. Uh, pulling, pulling it. Uh, next slide. Like it. So, Uttamagram it is the principal food that is served at temples. So, in this inscription, you will find four. Uh, different dishes in the Uttamagram. You find Kummayam, which is a sweet made from jaggery and green gram, Kaigari, Pulingari, Porikari. Just go back to the previous slide. So, Rada Kutai, Kaigari, Pulingari, Pali Vedi, 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 Pali Another uh, inscription. Uh, I think uh, Soundarajan sir covered this partly in measures along our work. We uh, come to find about some measures of volume like Ulak, Uri, Nali, Padi, Idalan, uh, metric system, SI system. Uh, Nadi, 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 Nadi. Currency, uh, you hear about uh, Kalanje. Karanje, you hear about Pun, which is same as Karanje. Uh, Nilakanda Shastri says that Kasa is half of Karanje. Then there is Irak Kasa, uh, which is same as Kasa. Pun. So, lesser value than Kasa. Yes. Pun, of Reno. Then when it comes to the measure of land, uh, there is one inscription that says there was a gift of four ma of land for feeding a Brahmana in the temple by Yeluvan Mahadevan, a merchant of Nandipuram. Um, Yeluvan Mahadevan. Yeluvan Mahadevan Vaita Nilam. Nilam, Yelvan Madhavan by Tanilam, Inge Nal Mav Ivare Mav Mavana Cheya Abdino. So the Ma comes here. Maru Midai Vilay no more Midai Vilay. Yapa Yavaka. So, Kal portion. Uh, 
ஸோ இந்த இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் நம்ம ஏற ஏற்கனவே வேற ஒரு காண்டெக்ட்ல பார்த்தோம் இந்த கால் போர்ஷன் வேலி ஆஃப் லேண்ட் பை த மூல பொரிஷர் ஸோ இங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா நாலு வெளியில் வடகிழக்கடை விற்று கொடுத்த அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஸோ வேலி அப்படிங்கிறது தஞ்சாவூர் இருக்கும் வெள்ளாளன் வெள்ளாளன் அரையன் கலங்காமலை கலங்காமலை அரையன் கரங்க கலங்காமலை அப்படின்ட்டு then another uh, sale of land for a perpetual land uh, in the temple for merit of kari kolamban this is 28th century and the tamil print panna there idu print panna kari kolambanai charthi tirki kottathu paramaswamiki vaitha tirunonda vilakku ondri விற்று கொடுத்த நிலமாக தலை கொண்ட இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் மதுரையும் ஈழமும் கொண்ட பரகேசரி அப்படின்றது எனக்கு அதோடைய ஸ்கிரீன்ஷாட் கிடைக்கல தெர் ஆர் போர் ஆதித்யா டூ பீரியட் இன்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் that refer to him as pandian talaygonda parakesari uh, these are all on the uh, north wall so on the main uh, yeah, shrine pathina sutti or 30 35 inscriptions are in the main shrine right so it will be fun to go at least spot a few of them okay i'll come back to that at the end um i want to show the uh, miniatures <laughs> மாதிரியான <laughs> சிவராம கிருஷ்ணன் சார் ஆல்ரெடி டீடைல பண்ணிட்டார் அதனால நான் இது வந்து ரொம்ப குயிக்கா சொல்லிட்டு போயிருக்கேன் Uh, there are uh, 56 ramayana panels that are there along the uh, so there are two levels of miniature panels one on the upper and one on the lower the upper uh, layer is fully ramayana the lower one has got a few others also so idu vandu shiram krishnan sir in a very detailed la panita so this is the uh, putra kameshti yagam rumbar when he ha huh? next to go next so this is the putra kameshti yagam rumbar when he spoke about uh, இதுல இந்த யாகத்துல இருந்து பூதம் வெளில வருது பாயச பாத்திரத்தோடு வருது ரிஷியசிங்க முனிவர் பூதம் வெளில வருது அந்த ஐ காண்டாக்ட் யாரு யாரு பாக்குறா அப்படிங்கிறது வந்து ஸோ இந்த பூதம் தான் சென்டர் பீஸ் ரொம்ப ஆல் தட் தட் ஹீஸ் போக் அபவுட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் தசரதா திஸ் இஸ் திஸ் மஸ்ட் பி கௌசல்யா ரிஷியசிங்க முனிவர் அண்ட் ஹெஸ் அட்டண்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஐதர் சைட் திஸ் மஸ்ட் பி சுமித்ரா அண்ட் கைகே அண்ட் you know one is vishwamitra another one is vasishta uh, vasishta and vishwam vasishta and one of his sishya then uh, uh, this is dasartha after the putra kameshti yagam giving the uh, payasam to his uh, uh, three queens kausalya here sumitra and kaikeyi on the other side and then while vasishta looks on um this is uh, Ka- kausalya holding young rama so rama is born and uh, so she is holding look at the hand that she has around the holding feeding 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 her uh, feeding, feeding him so idhula vandu sar sar pesna nyam irukku nenikira and the body oda length vandu eppadi the miniature la fit pandrathukku the curves oda pannirukanga appadi romba nice uh then this is dasartha with his queens and sons 
so he is holding Rama in his hand. This is Kausalya, and then you have the other Lakshmana of Bharata. I actually see only three children here. I don't see four. Um, anyway. Uh, this is uh, Vishwamitra coming to Dasharta's court and asking permission to send Rama with him. So you see Vishwamitra on this side, Dasharta seated here. Then this is uh, Dasharta, so, sorry, this is Vishwamitra teaching archery to Rama. So the the body weight front transfer. He is looking back at uh, uh, Vishwamitra. Uh, then there is another one where he finishes learning and then he is he's ready to shoot the arrow. This is the Tataka Vadam. Uh, so Tataka so is Tadaka almost half the panel uh, is, is given to. Uh, so Tataka is huge and she comes to hit Rama and then Rama kills Tataka. This is Ahalya, Ahalya Shava Vimosanam. Or maybe this is Tataka lying down. Tataka lying down. Mahalingam says this is Ahalya. Anyway, I, I had the same question. Maybe this was Tataka lying down after yeah. getting hit. Then this is Rama fighting uh, two Rakshasas. Maybe Maricha Subahu. Yeah, yeah Maricha Subahu. Then uh, uh, this is Rama, Lakshmana. With, uh, with a few rishis. I thought this was from Pullamangai, but, but anyway, I don't think Pullamangai had a panel like this. So this is, uh, Sita, this is Rama Sita uh, Kalyanam. You can see Sita here with her eyes looking downwards. Rama holding Sita's hand, there is the Agni. So in the character Kuni identify Panda. So the Sardan Manda Kekra in the Pratsan on a Kabinjo on the Kekra. So this is Kaike lying down. This is before she asks the Sarda for, for her wounds. Uh, this is before Rama, Lakshmana, Sita get ready to leave for the forest. This is Kausalya holding Rama here. This is uh, on the right side, you find the same Kausalya, Sita falling at the feet of Kausalya before they get ready to leave for the forest. Um, either when the Rama, Lakshmana, Sita, either Yara, Terla seems to be here, and I was not able to spot. This is the Guhan episode Guha, Rama, Lakshmana, Sita crossing the river Sarayu. Uh, this is the boat. Um, Sarasona Yavakun and Ekra. Guha is turning backwards, he is looking at Lakshmana. Lakshmana seems to be telling something, so the action is actually inside the boat. So Guha and Lakshmana are talking something, and then Lakshmana is listening. Showing this <laughs> Uh, this is the famous Shurpanaka, Shurpanaka episode. Uh, Lakshmana is about to cut the nose of Shurpanaka. You see his feet is, you know, is already has a strangle hold on Shurpanaka and is, is cutting his cutting her nose. Same same panel. Uh, you will find this differently in Pullamangai. Uh, this is Shurpanaka after her nose getting cut. She goes and complains to Kara Doshana. So Kara Doshana is sitting here and Shurpanaka goes to complain. Uh, this is Rama fighting the Kara Doshanas. <laughs> Sita is afraid and she holds on to Rama. Then this is Shurpaka going and complaining to Ravana. This is totally damaged. Um, a lot of the panels seem to be in good condition in Pullamangai. Nageswaran Kovila, Nariya, Seda Manajirke. Mottama irukkara ambatta aru panel la namakko ura napat trend, napatthi moon, nalla condition. 
அதோடைய பிக்சர்ஸ் தான் இங்கே காமிக்கிறேன் தென் திஸ் இஸ் ராமா சீதா அண்ட் லக்ஷ்மணா அண்ட் திஸ் ஐ திங்க் இஸ் அ ரிஷி பத்னி இது வந்து மாரிச்சா எபிசோட் ஸோ இது வந்து ரைட் டு லெஃப்ட் மாரி ஸோ முதல்ல மாரிச்சனை துரத்துறார் ராமர் தென் ஆஃப்டர் தேட் ஹி ஷூட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆரோ அட் மாரிச்சா ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆக்சுவலி சேசிங் இங்கே இருக்கு அப்புறம் ஆரோ ஷூட் பண்ணுறது இங்கே இருக்கு தென் ஃபைனலி மாரிச்சா ஃபால்ஸ் டவுன் இன் ஹிஸ் இன்கார்பரேட்டோ ஃபால் ஸோ மாயம் மான் இங்கே இருக்கு திஸ் இஸ் திஸ் மஸ்ட் பி தி ஜட்டாயு ராவணா ஜட்டாயு எபிசோட் i i felt this should have come first then then this but but koil la vandu maathi varudhu nama pora nama pora sequence la ipo na kaanchite irukken clockwise la idu modhal idu modhal la vandirukano idu adutha vandirukano nu nenikku undu so this is ravana carrying sita in his chariot and then fight you know this is the where you know, he has wall kai la mele apdi irukke jatayu jatayu kuda sanda padra cut cut panna pora he is about to cut jatayu this is uh, hanuman carrying rama and lakshmana on the right side on his shoulders and then he brings rama lakshmana to sugriva right so in the scene where rama lakshmana so hanuman is there only on the right side rama lakshmana has shown two times in this span uh, this is the vali sugriva uh, tussle and then rama is from a distance not exactly yet but trying to shoot from behind this is uh, this is sugriva lying on his uh, throne and with <laughs> sorry wali 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 on his wali wali is dying and then uh, surrounded by surrounded by all the vanavas this is the coronation of uh, sugriva um, rama lakshmana may be trying to pour water on his head and then there are two attendants on either side uh this is sugriva's court uh, with his consort and somebody is trying to um, fall at his feet uh sugriva again falls at the feet of rama or hanuman maybe rama tara tara and sugriva கொஞ்சம் <laughs> 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 இது வந்து ராமா லக்ஷ்மணா மேபி மேக்கிங் சம் பிளான்ஸ் ஃபார் தி ஃபார் த சர்ச் ஸோ யூ சி ராமா லக்ஷ்மணா அண்ட் ஆல் தி செவன் ஆர் எயிட் வானராஸ் சரௌண்டட் தீஸ் ஆர் பேசிக்லி பஞ்ச் ஆஃப் வானராஸ் டான்சிங் அண்ட் மேக்கிங் மெரி ஹியர் திஸ் இஸ் ராவணா இல்ல இல்ல அது கிடையாது அது இனிமே தான் வரும் பிரிட்ஜ் கட்டுறதாங்க இது வந்து ராவணா லைன் வந்து Surasa. Okay. This is uh, Lavana, Ra- Ra- Ravana lying in his uh, Aranmane Mandodri is here. Hanuman has appeared there. He's looking for whether uh, he's he's likely to be in his hand. Yeah, Arma. So, I'll talk about that. Then from there he goes to Ashoka Vanam. Uh, this is Sita in Ashoka Vanam. You can see the tree here. These are all the you know, three, Raja, four Rajasis. sitting all sitting in different positions no one look sleeping all sleep sleeping in different positions and hanuman goes there then this is uh, hanuman hanuman fighting you can you can see hanuman with the gadai fighting indrajit indrajit brahmastra which fight pandra kachi 
then uh, Hanuman setting fire to Lanka. Um, then uh, Hanuman in Ravana's court, you see that Hanuman's tail has been coiled and he's sitting on a tail here. And then this is Ravana. So Ravana takes Hanuman captive, brings, brings him to his court. And this is uh, Hanuman coming back to Rama um, and telling that he has indeed met Sita. Kande and Sita. Like a prom, uh, presents the Kanayari Kurkara Kachi. Like a prom, even the Kadal Kamela Bridge Katra Kachi, Elaro Kalatin Poranga, one other. Then uh, it's a battle scene. Anuman fights with two demons. Actually, Sudhiran is the only one who is the only one the only one who is the only one the only one who is the only one who is the only one who is the only one who the Okay. You can kill this. Uh, you have to do one more. Just go back. Okay. okay. See, continuity along the way. Ramana is there. Similar panels are there. So, this is the lower, uh, lower, the end portion. Bathroom, yeah. Upper, when the full Ramana, lower, when the very episodes are there. This is Ambatar panels are there. This is the Patta Panan to Parangal. There are Parangal Kadakala, Kadacha Parangal or Panan to Padanja Parangal. This is Maisha Saramatini. You can see. Durga is sitting on a lion, Maheshan is retreating. Um, uh, this is the famous uh, Kirata Arjuniyam. Uh, Shiva is in the form of a Vedan. Uh, Arjuna is standing back to look at uh, the hunter. You can see the boar here. Uh, yeah, Arjuna, this is Sorrent to Sorrent to Sorrent to So on a Kalbar, and the Kalbandi it is pointing in this direction. The boar is here. It's a dog. And then you can also see Parvati here. The same pattern Yeah. Uh, this is Shiva and Parvati seated on a on an asana. There are two ganas and then there is a there is an attendant here. That's Arjuna. That's Arjuna. Arj Arjuna. Arjuna. He's going to be given Pass oh, okay. 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 Right. Uh, he was not able to identify that. This uh, is a man seated on a cow. No. 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 Kandu and the Including 
So this is uh, a male musician and a female dancer here. Either, uh, this is Hanuman. This is a Shivalingam. Yeah, no, no, it's Wali, Wali worshipping Shivalingam. 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 Wali round on a cut Wali round on a Hanuman. Hanuman is Hanuman Lingot power. Lingot power. See the yeah. Vishnu, Vishnu and Brahma on either sides. This is uh, Rishabhantika. Shiva with his foot resting in a very casual posture as a bull. This is uh, Gajalakshmi seated on a lotus. It could either be this one or this one. This is most probably Gajalakshmi. Rind, 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 similar Lakshmi. 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 Lakshmi seated on a lotus. Vishnunda Nanu Nancha. This is uh, two dancers. This is random. 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 I, I don't I don't know who this is. This is Kali attacking somebody. Sir? Musicians and, and, and dancers. Photos are little Gopu. Gopu, Vishnadan. Ah, even the TV Mahalinga Moda, journal of Mahalinga. So now they match money, match money, match money, match money, the sequence. After miniature this is uh, dilapidated. This is not seen. This has been reconstructed on photo description. I have tried to put it in sequence. I have tried to put it in sequence. I have tried to put it in sequence. So, my photo, photos are from Gopu and description is Mahali. Yeah, photos, photos, are, photos are from Gopu. But somehow I thought uh, I said I took all the photos in sequence, so the sequence should not be a problem. Uh, except one or two designs, which many times. multiple, wherever a photo is there. Oh, wherever a photo is there. Same, only sequence there. One. 2012 and the Punjab. 2012. That is the sequence. 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 That is the yeah, so the things uh, to, to look for, again, Ramayana miniatures, uh, don't, don't miss that. We will also look at some select inscriptions. I will give the list of all inscriptions in our source book. Uh, the Koshtam sculptures definitely make, make for a lot of very interesting study. And I think as you visit both Pullamangai and Nageshwar and Kovil, uh, something that will be very interesting to do is to compare the sculptures of the miniatures of Pullamangai and Nageshwar because both have different, uh, uh, the, the similar episodes, but they are depicted very differently. And also the architectural elements between Nageshwar and Kovil and other early Chola temples. So these are things that will be good for a further study and further discussion. Thank you. Okay, yes. Uh, 
பட் நாகேஸ்வரன் கோவில் வந்து அவர் சொன்னது ஒரே சீன் ரெண்டுலயும் டெபிக்ட் ஆயிருக்கும் போது நாகேஸ்வரன் கோவில் இட் இஸ் அதோட இன்னும் நுட்பமான விதத்துல இன்னும் பெட்டரா கம்போசிஷன் அமைஞ்சிருக்கு சொல்லிருக்கோமா <laughs> 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 <laughs>